Welcome to American Roots. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make what I call a roasted garlic feta country biscuit. I think it's really, really beneficial to have multiple breads that you can um, go to. And this is a baking powder bread, so it's not a yeast. Um, and I really like that. It's very quick, um, very easy when you don't have to wait for things to proof one and two times. Let's jump right in. I just cut the top. And now I'm going to drizzle the olive oil just lightly over the top. All right, and those are ready to go into the oven as soon as it's pre -heated. So we're going to chop this up. We need a cup of chopped parsley. I've washed this and shaken this dry. I like to take a paper towel and just... Parsley is kind of tough. It's that thing that they used to put on the plate as a garnish, but it really has a nice smell. It's very aromatic. Um, also health benefits, fresh herb, and makes this biscuit just pop. So you wanna cut it right about where the stems kind of start meeting the leaves. You can just roughly take off any large stems that you see. That way it doesn't transfer over when you chop it. And this goes great in the compost. Next, we need a cup of feta cheese. Now we're gonna add four cups of flour because I'm doubling the recipe. The recipe calls for a, a teaspoon of sugar. Since I'm doubling it, I'm gonna need two. A tablespoon of baking powder, I'm gonna need two. Stir that mixture together. Add the feta and chopped parsley. Mix that all together. So the garlic has been roasting on 400 degrees Fahrenheit with a little bit of olive oil for about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna squeeze it and you're just looking for it to be soft um, so that you can kind of squish it out of there. I'm gonna let that just sit and cool. So you wanna push these out, these roasted cloves. And you can use your chef knife if you need to. It's still a little warm but you just want to get as many of them out as possible because that's your roasted garlic that is bonded in. To the mix. All right, I'm gonna add a cup of butter, cubed, cold, and then we're gonna mix. So I need three fourths cup milk. I'm gonna make a well inside of the flour and I'm gonna add um, the milk. Now, because I doubled the recipe, I need a cup and a half of milk total. So start less is best, add a little well, and then start mixing. Now 
Now you wanna butter the bottom of your dish. And place your biscuits in. I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me and learn how to make this really amazing biscuit. Until next time, from our family to yours, God bless you.